Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Dito2000 here, and man, I think I just did a voice crack. But today, guys, I'm going to show you, well, guys and girls, if you are a girl learning how to do this. But anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how to put in 3D letters in Minimator from Minecraft. And this actually works with anything, such as buildings, structures of any kind. It works with a limited amount, but you will be able to do this. It all depends on the size of your computer you have. Like, like, storage and how much processor stuff you got. I'm not really into that kind of information. Um, so if I sound like an idiot to you, you are probably correct. So, anyways, I'm going to show you how to do it. And first of all, all you're going to want is Minecraft, MC Edit, a certain version of MC Edit, and Minimator. Because, you know, this is where you come to find out some stuff other than some other channel. But today... We're going to show you what I just said. Alright, let's do this. So first of all, you're going to want to start up a Minimator world, any kind. It could be a random one you already have, or you can make a new one. And do whatever you want to do right now, and or not. And go ahead and let's go into Minecraft. So we'll be right back in 3, 2, 1. Alright, now that we are back in Minecraft, now you can see a ton of buildings in here. Two that were not built by me, but these ones have. It... You will find out later. But, anyways, uh, let's start out with what you're going to need to do. So, what you're going to want to do is pick any block that you want. So, today, I'm going to be using red, because that's my favorite color. Yeah, I might put that in a test later. And, all you're going to want to do in Minecraft is you're going to want to spell out what you want. So, I'm going to just spell out this. Oh, there you go. That's that that, that that's do. I'm not even gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do it like this. Do. Do it. Do it right now. Okay. That actually looks like go. I don't know why. There. Go. <laughs> and once you have your word done. And you can pause the video right now, just so that way you can do this information. And once you've done this, you're going to want to save and quit. And just to make sure everything's good. Then you're going to want a quick game, and we'll be right back once we get into MC Edits. Alright, so, once we're in this, you're going to want to go ahead and load your world. And it should say builds, or whatever you name the world. And you're going to want to click that, or load, and there you go, you're now in the world. And as you can see, I'm using MC Edit 0.1.7.1, because this one's the easiest one to use, in my opinion. But once you're in this, or you can use any others, it doesn't matter to me. I use this one because it's easier for me. You're going to want to scan this, not the ground, because you don't want the ground in your schematic file, which, by the way, is what we're going to be doing. You're going to want to drag that all the way around your letters. And what I like to do is I like to keep one block space uh, around it, not below it or above it. It's only because I don't want to accidentally cut these letters off. Like, I don't want to cut any pieces off. So I do this, even the top where anything, nothing is, I mean. And once you have that, you're going to want to go ahead and press Control e I think it is? Yes, Control e And once you've done that, you're going to have a file name right here. I'm going to be doing a lot of blurry because my name is in this, and I do not want that on YouTube. You're going to want to do this, and you want to go to Desktop. And I'm already on desktop, and you're going to want to save it. Save. Once you've saved it, it's now on your desktop as a schematic file. So, we're going to go in, and I'm going to teach you how to do the rest of this uh, tutorial. So, we'll be right back. Alright, and we're back, you guys. And apparently, I don't have to do any blurring out for this screen. So, there, yeah, I have a lot of junk here. I get that, alright? So, anyways... See the schematic file that we just put in here? This is where we just put it. This is literally the build. Right here, this is the build. And what you're going to want to do is you want to open up Minimator. Once you're in Minimator, you're going to want to click Schematics. And then you're going to push Buildings and Structures and all that. And you're going to press Other. So that way you know it's in the Others and there's nothing left. Put it in the schematic file. And then you're going to want to go ahead and exit this. And you're going to want to go back in Minimator. Once you're back in Minimator, you're going to want to click this. Go to Scenery. Go to Library. Go to None. Go to Browse. And you're going to want to click Desktop. 
mostly because my computer is glitchy. I don't know why it doesn't go straight to the actual thing, the folder. And when you find my animator, click that. Schematics, buildings and structures, other, and what do you have? And what do you have? Well, heh. <laughs> Oh, crap. Okay, so I figured out what I did wrong, guys. Um, remember to name this file the word that you just did? Because I could not find it, so... <laughs> Oops. Um, don't forget to name it. Um, I just made a big moo-boo earlier, so... Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna go into Minimator, like I said, and you're gonna wanna go... I already... Yeah, just do everything that I told you earlier. Go to Browse, go to Desktop, go down to Minimator 1.0, go to Schematics, go to Buildings and Structures and Other, and then there you go. Go. And there you go, guys. You got your letters inside of Minimator. How about that? Uh, I made so many mistakes because I am not, I have not done this in a long time. But there you go, guys. It's right there. There you go. Look. Shaders mod. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's floating. It's floating in the air. Look at look at the shadow. Okay, that actually, that actually looks really cool. I like that shadow. Looks like two boobs. I shouldn't have said that. But anyways, guys, that's my tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Stay high in rainbows. And if you want MC Edit or any of that, I will not be linking it in the description because last time I tried doing that kind of stuff, somebody actually got a virus, so um, they unsubscribed. So I'm not gonna do that. Search for somebody else's video. And peace out. Stay high in rainbows. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and goodbye.